And today's geeky topic will be Pokemon cards. Specifically, what types of products you can buy if you are trying to quickly build a Pokemon deck that is ready for play in a tournament or with your friends. We're also going to be unboxing some of these products today, so stay tuned. To all my geeks and nerds and everybody in between, Dante D here, and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. Well, you demanded it, so I'm delivering. Or rather, I asked, you demanded, and now I'm delivering. And you're all probably thinking by now, what the heck is he talking about? If you've been watching this channel for a while, you probably know that we mostly talk about comic books on this channel, but at the end of a video that I did not too long ago, I asked, what other geeky topics do you want me to talk about? Because I always say, this is the place where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. Well, the results are in, and today you're gonna be learning about Pokemon cards from someone who knows little about Pokemon cards. <laughs> no, I'm serious. No, I know about Pokemon. I have to tell you, I am very well versed and know all 150 Pokemon. What? There are like over 800. Are you serious? Yeah. That many? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm totally stuck in 1999. I totally thought there were only 150 Pokemon. Playing the games and watching the anime, they're always like 150, 150. They drilled 150. And now I'm finding out there are like over 800. Okay, no, I'm done. Just kidding. You're not getting rid of me that quick. So as you can tell, the extent of my experience with Pokemon is pretty much Gen 1. Uh, I used to collect Pokemon cards as a kid. I played Red and Blue, Pokemon Red and Blue, and I absolutely love those games. And I'm telling you, I played the crap out of those games. I played them hundreds of times and they're awesome. And to this day, continue to be one of my favorite video games of all time. So after I posted that video asking what other geeky topics you want me to talk about on this channel, a subscriber actually reached out to me and said, hey, I think it would be really cool if you did an episode on Pokemon cards. And I said, you know what? Actually, that, that's a great idea. I, I I used to love Pokemon as a kid and I still play the Game Boy games every so often. Yeah, let me, let me consider that. He actually was kind enough to send me some products and uh, he didn't want to be named. Uh, he just wanted me to let everyone know that these products came from Mastermind Toys. And this is what he sent me. Uh, he sent me these here. These look like... Um, they look like some sort of like starter decks or something like that. And then he sent me uh, this here. This is uh, an elite trainer box. And again, he didn't want to be named, but he wanted me to mention that these come from Mastermind Toys. If you're not familiar with Mastermind Toys, awesome, awesome toy store. Uh, I don't know if they're in the United States, but they're, uh, they're here in Canada. And I've been there before. The staff is really friendly. You can tell they're very passionate about toys and games. So this is what we'll be unboxing today. Thank you once again for sending these. You know who you are. And I definitely know where I will be going next time I need toys. So to prepare for this video today, I actually learned how to play the Pokemon trading card game. And I have to say, it's actually really fun. I had never played it before. Even as a kid, I never played it. Like I said, I just kind of collected the cards. But uh, when I started playing this game, I actually fell in love with it. It's actually really, really fun. The gameplay is addictive and I will totally continue to play it even after posting this video. If you know a little bit about Pokemon cards or the Pokemon trading card game, you'll know that you can't just simply go out there, buy a Pokemon card tin or a few booster packs and put a deck together that is ready for actual play. So I thought instead of just blindly unboxing these and saying, here, here's what's in the box and end a video, I thought, you know what? Why don't I actually use these products that were sent to me and show the viewers how to put a Pokemon card deck together. Because I'll tell you, if you're interested in starting to play the Pokemon trading card game and you're trying to get your first deck together, do not go out there and buy a bunch of booster packs or buy a bunch of Pokemon card tins and expect to be able to put a deck together. Booster packs and tins are great. However, I've found that in those tins and in those booster packs, there are more Pokemon rather than trainer cards and energy cards and you definitely will need a lot of trainer cards and a lot of energy cards to be able to play the Pokemon trading card game. So instead of going out there and spending a ton of cash on a multitude of tins and booster packs, which don't even guarantee you a deck that will be play ready, 
you can go out and buy one of these, which is a Pokemon card uh, theme deck. Uh, and these decks are play ready. Uh, on the back of these, uh, they tell you exactly what cards you will be getting in here. And like I said, you can open this up and start playing the game right away. And then I would also recommend that you get one of these, which is a uh, Pokemon card elite trainer box. This comes here with pretty much everything that you'll need to play the Pokemon card game. It comes with sleeves, it comes with um, damage markers, it comes with energy cards, eight booster packs, like it's just full of stuff. And again, we will be um, unboxing these. So you're probably asking if these theme decks here are play ready, why can't I just go out and buy one of these theme decks and just start playing. Why do I have to get the Elite Trainer Box as well? And that's a great point, you were totally right. You could buy one of these and just start playing. You could show up at a tournament with one of these. But what I found in researching uh, the Pokemon Trading Card game is that these theme decks are really great for beginners and for learning how to play. These are not gonna be the best decks um, if you want to play maybe a little bit more competitively. If you really want to play competitively and you want to have a deck that will increase your chances of winning, you will want to soup up your theme deck with cards that you will find in the Elite Trainer Box. So enough talk about these products, let's actually get in and unwrap them and see what we have. Okay, so let's get into this. We'll start off with this theme deck first with um, the Pokemon Blastoise. I'm guessing this is some sort of water themed deck so let's just dive in i don't even know how to open these things okay let's, let's just go from the bottom here let's see what we get okay ooh i'm guessing this is the play mat here yep this would be the play mat i'm not gonna unfold this and um because I won't be able to capture this whole thing on camera, but let's put this aside for now. And uh, here are your damage counters. And uh, you put these for every time your Pokemon get hit. I still don't know what the GX thing is for. It's just decoration. If you know a little bit about this GX, let me know in the comments. I have no idea what the, um, the GX is for. I know what GX cards are, but um, I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is just decoration or not. It's a poison counter. Okay, and uh, have some, uh, that's really cool. Oh, it gives you some information here. All right. And a cool coin. Look at that, ooh, that's a nice blue, blue coin with, uh, oh, it's Blastoise on there. I don't know if you could make it out on the, uh, on the camera or not, the lighting's a little weird, but it is a uh, Blastoise. That's a cool coin there. And there's the code. Help yourself if you'd like. All right, and there's our first card. This is a holographic Blastoise card. Looking at this card for me right now is like taking a trip down memory lane. Blastoise was always my favorite Pokemon. Every time I play Pokemon Red and Blue, I always pick Squirtle. It's just like one of my favorite Pokemon, and I think it's really pretty, really kind of cool with that uh, that holographic. So I will put that uh, aside for now, and let's see what is actually in the deck. All right, so here are your here are your energies, and these are um, these are really the um, the meat of your of your Pokemon deck. If you don't have energies, you can't. your Pokemon can't attack. So that is why uh, it's great to get these uh, these theme decks and the Elite Trainer Boxes to get lots of energies. Okay, so let's see here. We have Farfetch'd, Squirtle. I love Squirtle. Squirtle's always my favorite Pokemon. I, like, I love this, this, just the whole Squirtle evolution chain. We've got Squirtle, Wartortle, Blastoise. Always love Squirtle. Like I said, I always started off with uh, Squirtle. Just, I don't know, I love, I love Turtles. Turtles are cool. Turtle Pokemon, Ninja Turtles, Pidgeotto. Ooh, another Blastoise. Oh, but this one isn't holographic. I guess they only give you one, one holo card per deck. Another energy, Pidgey. This is your trainer card, Copycat, Water, 
Psyduck. I, I remember Psyduck from the anime. He was always annoying, but he had like this like hidden power within. Uh, timer Ball, Energy, Brock. It's the first gym trainer in the Game Boy games. Nest Ball, Farfetch'd. War Turtle. Ooh, that's some cool art on that card. Energy card. Pidgeot. It's kind of a cool card. Switch. Energy. Gold Duck. Gold Duck. That's the evolved form of Psyduck, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty cool looking Pokemon. Is that how? Draw three cards. Energy card. Copycat. Energy. Kukui. <laughs> Psyduck. Another Psyduck. Energy. Squirtle. Yeah. Cynthia. Hello, Cynthia. Energy. Pidgey. Pokemon Fan Club. Oh. Isn't that a cute Pokemon family? Energy card. Timer Ball. Gold Duck. Pidgeot. Switch. So as you can see, there's a lot of... um. There are a lot of uh, duplicates in here, and um, I think that's why kids don't really like buying these theme decks very much, is because of the duplicates, but um, if you know anything about the Pokemon trading card game, you will want duplicates in your deck. Um, usually these, these decks, a good strategy is to focus on a, just a few Pokemon evolution chains, because I mean, if you just fill your deck with a bunch of different Pokemon, it's not gonna go well with you. And then that's why there are two, bla that's why there are two Blastoise. Uh, because, and uh, multiple Squirtles and uh, War Turtle, because uh, it's just a good strategy to have multiple, because if one of them faint, you have other ones uh, to back you up, right? So, good idea to have duplicates. Pidgey, War, another War Turtle, Energy, Squirtle, Nest Ball, and finally another Energy. So, I think that's, this is a pretty cool, pretty cool deck. I like, I like this deck a lot. Okay, now on to this uh, next deck with uh, the mighty Charizard on front. I think uh, Charizard's kind of like the fan favorite, so let's, uh, let's dive into this one here. All right. Pull out. So in this deck here, you're getting the exact same thing as you would in the, uh, in the Blastoise deck. I'm not gonna go through all this again. We'll just get right to the cards, okay? Online code. All right, starting off with the first card, the holo card, Charizard. Holy, I'm telling you, when I was a kid and I collected Pokemon cards, everybody on the playground, we used to take out our Pokemon cards for recess, and everybody on the bleeding playground wanted a Charizard. Now this is not the Charizard that uh, I remember as a kid. I remember there was this one kid on the playground who had a, uh, a Charizard. And again, it wasn't this one here, but I remember as soon as he got it, this kid came to my house to show me he got this. I was like, I was kind of bitter. I have to admit, I was really bitter. I was not very nice to him. I was just, he was just kind of like, look at my Charizard, look at my Charizard. Like he was genuinely excited about it. And I was just like, cool. And I pretty much like slammed the door in his face. I was, I was kind of sour grapes about it and bitter. Um, not my finest moment in childhood because I, I felt like he was being a show off. But <laughs> anyway, that was just a quick childhood story. But I'm looking at this card right now. I'm telling you, uh, I expected it to be a little better. Uh, I remember the uh, the Charizard card as a kid. I think the, the move, I, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that the base move, I think it required like four energy and it did like 130 damage. And this continuous blaze ball does 30 plus. So... Um, yeah, but anyway, still cool looking card. Really pretty kind of hollow. And uh, let us see what we get in here. Right, let's move this stuff aside. So again, the meat and potatoes of our deck, the energy cards, just fly through these. Ponyta, Charmeleon. Ooh, that's cool art on Charmeleon. I remember Charmeleon was like, He's kind of a bastard in the anime, if I, if I remember correctly. He never listened to Ash, but then again, neither did the Charizard. Okay, Charmander, Farfetch'd, Copycat, Energy, Trainer Cards, Nidoran, Female. Cool art on that, too. Oh, there's our second uh, second Charizard. Rapidash. That's a, I always thought Rapidash was a really cool-looking Pokemon. Nidoran, or, or sorry, that's Nidorina. Energy. Nest Ball, Ponyta, 
Brock's great. I had, like I like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm pretty ooh, Needle Queen, that's a cool card. I think it'd be cooler if it were hollow, but no, I'm kidding. It's still a cool card. Uh, like I said, I'm I'm very well versed with the Gen 1 Pokemon. I know them all. Um, then I know some of the Gen 2. Uh, Charmeleon. I know some of the Gen 2, but uh, after that, I'm uh, I'm pretty pretty lost. So these these Pokemon here, I know quite well. We go Timer Ball, Needle Queen, another Needle Queen there. Energy Switch, Pony Toss. There was uh, again multiples, uh, multiple uh, duplicates in here. Again, you're gonna want that though if you're going to play the Pokemon trading card game. And as you can see, a lot of energies, but Again, you will need those if you intend to play this game. And if you haven't played the game, I really recommend that you do because it is fun. This is, these are pretty solid decks. I'm actually really, uh, really happy with these decks. Um, might be cool what I might do, uh, depending on what I get in the, um, the Elite Trainer box, I might actually do like a dual fire water deck. I don't know, would you re recommend that? Um, I don't know, I know they always say stick to, to one type, but, uh, or, or two types or something, or, but I don't know. The, 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 I'm, I'm pretty happy with these. I think these are pretty cool. Okay, now on to the Elite Trainer box. And I've actually watched a few unboxings of these on YouTube. And there have been some people that have gotten some really wicked cards from these uh, Elite Trainer boxes. But I've also seen some boxes that have been total duds so <laughs> we will uh let's see what we get in here we'll uh get into it let's see what can i open this thing let's see if there's okay there's actually a spot here open damage when i'm shipping a little okay let's take that off okay so in the back here it's telling you everything that you'll get and it is quite a list um this is a uh, Probably a step up from the um, from the theme decks because I mean you are getting a lot more. You're also getting uh, card sleeves. Uh, you're getting a bunch of energy cards, a uh, couple books, and things like that. So let's uh, let's see. Oh, and this is a uh, this is really cool. Like, this must be like a like a box where you can keep your cards. I'm guessing it's equivalent to like a long box. It's a long box for. For trading cards, that's cool. I didn't know they made those. But again, I'm quite new to trading cards. Okay, so, oh wait, hang on. I'm just noticing off camera here. Comes with a book, ooh. Really nice book, really nice uh, high quality paper that they use. This must be uh, some sort of guide and uh, all the possible cards that you can, you can get. Um, I'll probably look through that later. Put that over there for now. Okay. This is probably to keep everything in place. So, time for the meat and potatoes. We have here, there should be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Perfect. We have some dye, and there's a GX again. Okay, tell me what this means. This is starting to bother me now. I don't know what the GX is. Oh, we have some really high quality. Um, Poison and burn indicators. These are like hard. They're not just paper like in the um, in the theme deck there. So, okay, that's pretty cool. These are the energies. I'm not going to open these and show you all these because you know that they're all energies and they're different types of energies. Fire, water, psychic, fighting, you know them all, right? Okay, and these must, these are the sleeves. Now, um, in actual tournament play, I've seen people keep these sleeves on their cards. Uh, let me know, because obviously I've never actually played in a tournament before. Um, do you need sleeves for a tournament? Or, or are they just doing that to or protect their cards as uh, as collectibles? Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious about that. But I will probably put some of the nicer cards in here. Or just put, put some cards in here um, that I plan to play with, you know? Just so they don't get uh, kind of like all scratched and dinged up. Um, during, uh, during play. All right, there's more stuff in here, let's see. Okay, there's another code. And, uh, oh, these are dividers. Actually, I think these would be useful because I mean, if you have different, if you have different decks that you play with, like if you have multiple decks, you can divide them with this. So these are actually uh, quite useful. All right, so here we go. 
Eight packs. Will this be eight packs of greatness or eight packs of duds? We shall find out. Let's see here. I have not opened a Pokemon card pack in a long time. Why am I having a hard time with this? Okay, here we go. Remember when I was a kid, I used to love doing this. Okay, and from watching other videos, uh, I think you do show the card, and then you do four card, two, three, four, put it there, and you should start with an energy. Did I do it right? Oh, I did it right. And it's electric, and I'll try to guess the energies from here. Okay, so here we go. Energy. Charmeleon. All right, another Charmeleon. An identified fossil. Good trainer. Farfetch'd. Magic card. Don't know this guy. Is it Puccinia? Puccinia? Geodude. Ooh, that's a weird looking Geodude. Looks like my kids made it with clay. All right. Bronzor? Sounds like character from like Conan the Bar Barbarian or something. Dratini! Dratini was one of my favorites as, um, as a kid. Always loved Dratini. Dragon type. All right. Cosmog? This is a reverse hollow? I don't know, is that good? <laughs> no, I have no idea. Cosmog. And, ooh, a holographic judge whistle! Woo! I, is that good? <laughs> All I know is that uh, from watching a few of these videos, you always celebrate when you get, uh, I guess this would be an ultra rare hollow. So, really cool. All right, let's put that aside. I'll put these, these cards over here. All right, let's see here. Going on to the next pack. Let's see what we get here. Why can't I? Is there is there like a method to opening these? If there is, you're gonna have to let me know in the comments because uh, I'm struggling here. All right. Okay, let's see. Code. Four card energy. Three, four. I guess. Fire. Leaf. Okay. Uh, Leaf, Nidorina, Sabrina's Suggestion, Graveler, Larvitar, Psyduck, another Psyduck, Vulpix, Ponyard, is that how you say it? I don't know, is that how you say it? Another Geodude, what is with the weird looking Geodude art? This is not the art I remember for Geodude. Ooh, reverse hollow pincer. That's really cool. I think pincer, pincer I always remember being a really cool Pokemon. And, oh, that's a letdown. Not even, your the rare is not even a hollow anything. Mighty Anna something, I guess is that how you say it? <laughs> All right, moving on. Let's see. I want to see, I, I know from watching a few of these, people get really excited over GX cards. Let's see if we can get a GX card. All right. Go. All right, let's see, four card. One, two, three, four, I guess, Psychic. Water, okay. That's a bad sign. Water, buff padding. Kabuto. Very charm you be. Harass. Don't even know who that guy is. Okay, Pidgey. Don't even know that. <laughs> Nidoran, there's one I know. Pokemon Communication. Ooh, that's a hollow. Or sorry, reverse hollow Pokemon Communication. That's kind of cool. And, ooh, what another, another letdown. But that's Muck. And Muck is, uh, I think, will be pretty good for gameplay. So, all right. So, so far, we have Really, I have that pincer that I really like. I'm gonna pull that pincer and put it aside because this is a card that kind of makes me happy. I really I remember pincer being a really good Pokemon and I'm gonna put that aside. So, so far we have the pincer <laughs> that made me happy and we have this um, this reverse hollow whistle. Must be some sort of special whistle. Might like call the guardian beasts <laughs> or something. All right, here we go. I did a better job that time. We got here. Go. One, two, three, four. Electric. Psychic. Oh, I guessed psychic last time. All right. Psychic. 
Flaffy. I actually know that one. I think when I played Pokemon Silver, I used Flaffy in one of my lineups. Jinx. Kangaskhan. That's actually a good Pokemon. Okay. Magic Carp. I don't know why. I know Magic Carp is usually considered to be a useless Pokemon, but I've always liked Magic Carp. Okay. Execute. I'm not even going to attempt that. Okay. Yeah. Nidoran. A Reverse Hollow Morgan. Who is Morgan? All right, Morgan. And... GX! Oh, we did it! We got one! Latias and Latios. I hope I'm saying that right, but here's our GX card. Um, <laughs> this is really cool. Um, I know from watching these videos, apparently these GX cards are actually worth something. Uh, not a lot of money. I think they're worth like a few bucks each, but it's good to know that holographic means collectible in some hobbies because if uh, you know anything about comic books, let me tell you something. Holographic comic books are worth barely not even the paper that they're printed on. So <laughs> glad to know that holographic means cool and rare and somewhat collectible in some hobbies. Certainly does not mean that in comic books, but uh, still, they're still cool to look at though. I really love these like hollow uh, ultra rares, I guess these are called. All right, that's cool, put that aside. Next one. Where are we at here? Okay, here I go, continuing the struggle. Okay, four card, oh. One, two, three, four. I leaf fighting. Lavender Town. I remember Lavender Town, which was always the source of so many different conspiracy theories and creepy pastas. Always, I always will remember La Lavender Town and that Pokemon's like tower or whatever. All the dead Pokemon was so cool. Another War Turtle. Don't know that guy. Litten. Zorua, Weedle, Joltik, Blitzing, Reverse Hollow Viridian Forest. I remember Viridian Forest quite fondly. And, oh, whoops, I dropped it. And uh, that looks like a pretty cool Pokemon, but it is not hollow. It is just a basic card, but still, still a really kind of cool looking card there. All right. Moving on, three packs to go. Will this be three packs of greatness or three packs of duds? You know, I was just thinking, I, I know there's something um, something called gold cards with Pokemon cards. I, I, I was just thinking, how, how funny would it be if I pulled a gold card being like my like first Pokemon haul video? <laughs> All right, I don't think it's likely, but you never know. One can dream, two, three, four. Mmm, fire. Steel. Okay. Uh, let's move down. Ingo and... Uh, Ingo is the name of a character in Legend of Zelda. Um, Tremeleon. Another one. It's like, I have a lot of those now. Morgan. Squirtle. Bronzor. Lefty. Pidgey. Emolga. Reverse. Hollow. Mandibuzz, cool, and Skarmory. All right, going to the side. That wasn't too bad. Not the greatest, but not the worst either. Okay, two more packs. Going to this. All right. Doo -doo -doo. One, two, three, four. Ooh, electric. Fairy. Flappy. Ominite. Tauros, that's actually a good one to use in the game. Pancham. Pharisee. Pidgeotto. Charmander. Cha-cha. Star you. Ooh, this is a prism card. I think this is good. 
Is this good? Let me know. I don't know what prism cards are or what they mean, but that that I, every time I watch these haul videos, people are like, prism card! So here we go, prism card. Let me know what prism card means. Okay, and Kabutops. This is one of those fossil Pokemon. All right, cool. All right, putting that to the side. Last one, last one. Oh, that's the other teeny there. Code. One, two, three, four. Fighting. Water. I would guess we one. Far fetched. Another far fetched. That thing. Dragonair. I'm excited about this because I actually might be able to use Dratini now. Okay, maybe. There's a Dratini, that's cool. Wouldn't it be cool if I got a Dragonite? I really want a Dragonite right now. Okay, Grimer. Ponyta. Cosmog. Voltorb. Ooh, a Joltik. That's Reverse Hollow. And another Pinsir, what a letdown. Oh, that was a letdown. And that was the last pack. I lied, I have one other pack. I actually, this is my contribution to this, uh, to this little haul here. Uh, I decided to pick up just a, a booster pack at a variety store, uh, just in case I pulled a bunch of duds. I wanted to give you guys something to be excited about, but so far, uh, there are some, some cool cards that we pulled. So let's see, this is just a bonus. Let's see what's in here. Four. Okay, I guess fighting. Fairy. Grumpig. Emolga. Gladion. Aaron. Or Aaron, or whatever. I don't know. Corpish. Ghastly. Houndor. Star you, another star you, and. Uh, nope. Rig. Rig. Well, I, don't, I have no idea, but that looks like a good Pokemon. Reverse Hollow. That's a good one to use in in uh in your deck. And it's a basic too. Wow. Okay. Oh, GX! Another GX! Look at that! Come back! This is a golem! Wow! Incredible! I just picked up this pack in case I pulled duds. What are the odds that I would pull a GX out of this? This is an Alolan Golem GX. Wow. Okay, so to review. This is the I guess the things to be excited about in here. So we have that Alolan Golem GX. Um, this card here, Latias and Latios, the Judge Whistle, and Pinsir. So basically what you would do at this point is you take some Pokemon from your starter deck, compare them to some of the cards that you get in these Elite Trainer boxes, and just switch them up. Just really kind of beef up your deck, soup it up, read the description, spend some time really getting to know the cards, and I guarantee you, you will have a deck that is ready to play either in a tournament or uh, to play just simply with your friends. It's, uh, it's like, again, it's a lot of fun, uh, and really, really take some time with it because it's, uh, it's, it's a blast. So that about does it for our video today. Really, really hope that you enjoyed it. If you liked this video and you like other videos on the channel, please consider subscribing, liking, really, really helps me out. And if you wanna see more videos like this about trading cards or Pokemon cards, please let me know in the comments. Or if there's something that you wanna send me to review on the channel or anything like that, reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter at GeekeryD. Until next time, this is Dante D signing off. I will see you all in the next episode. I'm going to go and play with my new cool cards.